I'm finally doing the kind of work I want to do here. I haven't done so much work in my entire career put together that I have in the last one year. So it's, I'm touch wood. For all film-related interviews, reviews, and content, please like and subscribe to Pooja Talwar. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. It's always a pleasure meeting you, Ashapali. Happy New Year. You know, Happy I New Year. Fall, when I first met you, I mean, though we last met was a Delhi crime, I first met you, monsoon wedding at that farmhouse in Delhi, when I'd come to shoot on the sets. Wow. Okay. And your character, Rhea Varma, was one of the first kind of characters we had in the film narrative who openly speaks about. So in my mind, it was read because whenever Shikali Shah does something, she's a very strong woman and she plays herself. You know, because you have that look, you have a, you have a very strong face. When I was listening to your interview where you said, you know, people actually think I'm unapproachable because I have this strong face and I play these kind of characters. So what is that one myth you want to break about yourself to people who like for the past 20 years and when I've seen you in the film, you've always played that strong character, you know? Uh, well, uh, the myth that I want to break is that I am, people are intimidated by me. That is the general reaction I get even on a set. Like before they get to know me, they're all prepared. Oh my God, you know, you're working with her. You're supposed to be quiet. You just talk about work. Don't mess with her. Don't come around her, etc. Until they get to know me. So that's a big myth because I am, uh, yes, I'm a strong woman, but uh, I'm, I'm extremely approachable uh, and uh, I'm funny, I'm wicked, and I'm very easy. So once they get to know me, they're like, oh God, really? I mean, all of that. And uh, I don't bite. So, yeah. That's the thing about strong women. Now they become unapproachable because they don't take nonsense. And I'm sure you are that person. So that's what I'm saying. Riya Varma was my first interaction of, with you as an actor. And now till date, the character that you are playing in, you know, humans. Are you attracted to these kind of women who actually have a message to give out. I don't know whether Gauri Nath has a message to give out, okay. honestly. Hmm. But, uh, well, that's the exciting part as an actor. And uh, yes, almost everything I have done has had a certain message to give out, but uh, that doesn't have to be necessarily true for every part I pick. You know, uh, I pick parts which creatively excite me and interest me. Human is a very strong subject. It's a very relevant subject and it needs to be talked about. Uh, but uh, I don't know if Gauri Nath is somebody you take messages from. We are just waiting to see what she is all about. Jitna trailer mein dekha hai, bahut zyada layers hai. Samaj nahi aa hai, what she's actually thinking. So this is what I want to ask you. Your husband directing you, I know you said is irrelevant because for you, it was the story and the character. So when... They told you they wanted you to play Gauri Nath in a movie that's talking about the pharma industry in these times. You're living through it. What was your first reaction and what was it that ticked the boxes for you? Saying that, yeah, like I you correctly know. said, the script, the concept, and then the script. You know, you could have a very interesting concept, um, but it doesn't necessarily translate into a script like so it's that it's the script that and you know i would heard about trials and i'd read about it but i didn't even know one iota of what goes behind it so when i read the script and when i had these conversations with ripple and moses and i figured oh my god this is what happens and it's scary and it's shocking and of course the character she's unlike anything i have ever played she's unlike anybody i've met or seen or heard of in real life you know, so it's, it's a challenge. It's exciting. It's like, oh my God, I want to do this. So when you come across a character like that, that you haven't seen, you can't wrap your head around. Does that make the process a little more challenging than someone or the other you would have come across? You would have met like a Neelam Mehra or a Rhea that you played. You would have known these people. Uh, even if I didn't know the people, those were identifiable emotions. You know? Uh, with Gauri, like you correctly said, you can't wrap your head around this one. She is extremely complicated and she's indecipherable. 
she's unpredictable so much so that just in spite of living that script and you know having that script and the character run through me and my blood and my veins and my gut and my heart uh, she used to surprise me so it was like every day you never knew what she's like a pandora's box you never know what's going to come out wow that's interesting and also you know for somebody who's had such a long journey in films 25 years to ho hi gaye yeah i don't know when i did rangila but yeah i guess huh. rangila I must have been what 18 19 when i did rangila huh. so it's been a while so when uh, rangila 20 years yeah. long ago rangila satya you know and then we had monsoon wedding which we are remains my favorite you know we still have yet to see a character like her because she just was amazing and now playing the characters that you have whether it's telly crimes whether it's this is this the phase that you're enjoying the most as an actor because you rightly said like 2021 was your busiest as an actor ever yes i am i'm finally doing the kind of work i want to do uh, there are roles in mind uh, i'm playing leads parallel leads in very very exciting projects uh amazing directors amazing star cast crew and uh, yes it's uh, last year i haven't done so much work in my entire career put together that i have in the last one year so it's I, i'm touch wood as an actor who's also married to a director who has observed all this what do you think is the reason because a lot of actors like you are saying that finally getting the stuff that we want to do to pehle nahi mil raha tha what is your interpretation when you see then back then and now because it can be a pre you know you can divide your career into two phases literally uh well i think delhi crime changed for me uh easily and because it was an ott platform uh there was there were no uh pressures of the box office somebody took a chance and said you know what we don't need a star we need an actor to play this and uh you know rishi decided to put me in the lead there and uh, we worked on it very very closely and it was a collaboration and uh, that changed that is my that has been the game changer for me because from then on i mean you know i i've been appreciated and i feel very lucky for it that people have loved my work and even makers creators and they like one of the finest we have or she's very good or whatever but it never translated into work and they didn't know what to do with you they don't know what to do with somebody who's beyond 22 so which is true <laughs> and somebody who's probably played a mom of course now it's changed not just with ott even films you know so it's been it's it's been great touch wood i mean there i durust that that's what i can say so i would want to ask you the Do's and don'ts of working with Shifali Shah. What's her rule book for herself, and which she would want people to know about? I don't have a rule book for myself. Okay. I don't have a rule book. I don't have a pattern. I don't have a set system. I will do something if it excites me, if it churns my heart and my gut around. It's something I just have to go and do, and I will do it. You know, uh, whether it's a first-time director or if. or any if the script is solid i know the perception i i i am i can see the vision of a director and uh, the characters they i would say yes you got to do it i don't have a method i don't have a pattern i don't have a calculation of how i plan but i do know that i will not do anything substantial and uh, you know i've reached touch with a point where i am playing central characters or parallel leads a book very hard to get so it's not like i wouldn't be a part of an ensemble but then that ensemble has to be something like a monsoon wedding you know where you say i have to be a part of this or delhi crime okay and also ma'am what is it like pros and cons of working with your husband he's directing you after 16 years and you said that it was not the reason that you said yes but what are the pros and cons because you know wo hota hai agar set pe kuch keh de the mind that works because you know you are just so close to each other tumne aise kyu bola waise kyu bola what are the pros and cons actually is it easy or is it tough oh uh, well uh, it's easy to work with vipul because he's a chill dude 
he's a collaboration. He's uh, not just from his actors, but even from his ADs. You know, so it's a pleasure to work with somebody like that who understands that it's a collaborative process. Uh, it's not a dictatorship. A film or a show doesn't just belong to the director. It belongs to the entire team. And if one and all of them coming together is only when you can create something uh, which you're proud of, you know. So it's great. But like you correctly said, yes, there is like something I would say to another director. And I know it wouldn't be perceived as anything but a professional banter or a professional uh, disagreement. When you have that with your husband, it could be misconceived as, oh, there is a problem in the marriage, which is really boring and it's a waste of time and energy. And uh, luckily um, on set, I mean, we had sensible people who saw that, uh, I mean, we had constant banter. Like Ram used to say, you know, it's so entertaining just watching both of you. But yes, you have to keep in mind respect, which goes without saying for any director or not. They stay in a husband and wife become like siblings. They start like bickering like two little children. Yeah, and it's just like the banter, the conversations we have. It's like, you know, we're always ragging each other, pulling each other's leg or, you know, stuff like that. Awesome. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm since you play such strong characters, isn't this a kind of role that you really wish that they would come to you with, that you really would want to sink your teeth into and play? Well, so many. I'm a greedy actor. I don't want to label one such role. And there is so much to do and so much work. So I'm open for anything. And in this illustrious career, which was the most satisfying character that you ever played, who truly like satisfied you? Delhi Grand. Vartika Chaturthi. One is that it gives you that much time a show gives you where you can explore and dwell and bring out the nuances. Also, it changed my work pattern. It was a learning curve for me. You know, so DC, easily. Awesome. And, you know, you and Dil Dharakne do also, Neela Mehra, brought out a lot of issues to the fore, whether it was her stuffing her mouth with cupcakes, whether it was the, the dynamic with her husband or with her children. It was very interesting to see. It was very interesting to see. And what was Neela Mehra for you? Because there's something I've always wanted to ask you because she just seemed very real. And I come across such women all the time. Uh, so that was a reaction that a lot of women had when they saw it. That this is our story, you know. But the script was very powerful. Also, when I read, I mean, uh, despite uh, Zoya and Rima and Javed Saab all telling me that, you know, it, it was the weakest role on paper. Uh, I didn't feel that. When I read it, uh, for me, two roles stood up. One was Pluto and one was Neil and Mel. Yeah. According to me, those two were the strongest roles on paper. And of course, every character was very, very uh, layered and complex. And there was so much dynamic. Uh, but... Um, Obviously, Zoe had worked on the script. She's known of people like this, you know. Uh, and with every character I play, Puja, the point is to make it real. It might be the most unimaginable character, but the point is to make her real. You know, it, it can't be like Shefali is acting as XYZ. It has to be like you talk about Leo, you talk about... Neela Mera, you talk about them as individuals and that's my pursuit as an actor. And that does stay because I, whenever I've seen whether it's Rhea Neela Mera or whether it's Vartika or whether it's, now I'm waiting to see that. I don't see Shefali Shah in them. I see the Which is great. It's just that Shefali Shah ka face hai, but I lose the fact that she is the one, you know. And Which is I'm, great. And I'm saying it from a good place. So, jate jate ek baat bata. Shefali Shah was to come across Rhea Neela Mehra and Gauri, what would be the conversation between these four women? Shafali Shah had to come across with Rhea, Neela Mehra and Gauri. Uh, with Rhea, I'd say kudos. Like hats off. She's brave. She's very brave. Neela Mehra, I would feel really bad for her. I'd want to give her a hug and say, I'm so sorry for you. Uh, and Gauri Nath is somebody I'd want to stay with. I wouldn't be able to comprehend that. 
My Lord, now we are very curious to see her, waiting to see her. More power to you for playing these characters. All the very best. Please take care. And I hope to see you in person very soon. Anyways, you have a great lineup of movies coming. So thank you. Thank you so much, Pooja. Thank you, ma'am. Take care. All the best, ma'am. All will be well, ma'am. Yes, thank you. And if you've liked this interview, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.